Hello listeners, welcome to our today's fourth educational program. Today we are going to study history and government form two. With me in studio is teacher Ruth with the students from DVC High School. Whitney. Hello. Claire. Hello. And Rachel. Hello. Welcome teacher Ruth. Good morning everyone. Good, Good morning. morning. Today we are going to learn history and government form two. And our topic is democracy and human rights. With me are the following students. Which new Arunga? Claire Japosge. Rachel Nasimio. And I, your teacher, Madam Ruth Ogingo. The following are the lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to 1. Define the term democracy. 2. State the key aspects of a real democracy. 3. Identify the different categories of human rights and freedoms as outlined in the Kenyan Constitution 2010. 4. Highlight various human rights and freedoms in each category of human rights and freedoms. In our previous lesson, we learned about constitution and constitution making. Students, we said that a constitution is a set of agreed principles and rules which state the structure and powers of a government. Who can state some of the importance of a constitution that we discussed in our previous lesson? Yes, Whitney? A constitution outlines the structure of government. Good. What are the importance of the constitution do we have? Yes, Rachel? Defines the power and prerogative of the head of state. Good, Rachel. Yes, Claire? It states the composition, functions, and powers of parliament and that of the executive. Very good, Claire. Class, we also learned about the features of the new constitution. Who can give us one feature of the new constitution 2010? Yes, Whitney? There is reduction of the president's executive powers. Very good, Whitney. Another feature of the new constitution. Yes, Rachel? Devolution of powers to regions, that's creation of county and national government. Very good. Another feature? Yes, Claire? Creation of the Senate and National Assembly to constitute parliament. Good. Well, we also say that on citizenship, birth and registration are the only recognized ways of attaining Kenyan citizenship. Dual citizenship is now recognized by the Constitution. <music> Let us now look on our today's topic. We are going to define the term democracy. Democracy is a form of government where political decisions are directly in the hands of the citizens. Let us look on the key aspects of a real democracy. We have three aspects of a real democracy. Who can state the various aspects of a real democracy? Yes, Whitney? We have political aspect, social aspect, and economic aspect. Good, Whitney. I'm going to explain each of the aspects. We have the political aspects, where by the consent of the governed, expressed directly or indirectly through elected representatives, must be sought when making political decisions, public opinions must be given priority in governance. The second aspect is the social aspect. Here, human dignity must be valued at all times. Every individual should be free to organize his own lifestyle, hold and express opinions, enjoy company of others and even join associations. The third aspect is the economic aspect, whereby all citizens must be provided with equal opportunities Exploitation of humans by fellow humans should be eliminated. Class, let us now look on to the classification of human rights and freedoms. You can identify the categories of human rights and freedoms as per the Kenan Constitution 2010. Yes, Rachel. Solidarity rights. Good. Another category. Yes, Claire. Civil and political rights. Good, Claire. Another category? Yes, Whitney? Social, economic, and cultural rights. Good, Whitney. <music> Class, let us now look on the various rights and freedoms that are under each category. 
In the category of social, economic, and cultural rights, the state is expected to pursue policies that enable individual, families, or groups to earn a living and produce basic needs that include education and medical care for themselves. Examples of rights under the category are right to a family, right to accessible education, right to access medical care, right to adequate housing, clothing and food, right to social security, right to affordable sanitation and clean water, among others. The second category is the solidarity rights. These are rights which focus on the whole community. They require the state to pursue policies which do not destroy natural resources or waste financial resources, but instead create conditions for peaceful coexistence. These rights include the right to clean, health, and sustainable environment. The third category of human rights and freedom is the civil and political rights. These rights are, and freedoms ensure a secure space for the individual to pursue their values and interests. They include right to vote, right to think, and access to information, right to life, freedom of expression, right to privacy, right to fair trial and due process, freedom of religion, and freedom from discrimination. Class, we've come to the end of our lesson today. Anyone to tell us what we've learned today? Yes, Rachel. Today you've learned about democracy and human rights. We've seen the meaning of the term democracy and also looked on the key aspects of a real democracy, whereby we've seen we have social aspects, political aspects, and economic aspects. We've also talked about the classification of human rights and freedom. Good, Rachel. Class, is there anyone with a question concerning what we've learned today? Yes, Whitney? My question is, what is the meaning of human rights? That's a good question, Whitney. Class, anyone with an idea what the meaning of human rights are? Yes, Claire? Human rights refers to the accepted principles of fairness and justice or the universal moral rights that belong equally to all people in their capacity as human beings, regardless of sex, race, tribe, language, place of origin, age, or political beliefs. Excellent, Claire. Whitney, is the question answered? Yes, mother. Any other question concerning our today's topic? There being no other question, that marks the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will learn about the characteristics of human rights. Therefore, learners, ensure that you read about the characteristics of human rights before we meet in our next class. Meanwhile, write this question down. Explain the importance of democracy. Explain the importance of democracy. been your radio teacher, Madam Ruth Togingo, and my students were Claire Jepkosge, Rachel Nasimeyo, and Whitney Warunga. Thank you. This program was prepared and recorded by more university that year students taking CIM 360, educational media practicals, and micro teaching from School of Education the year 2021. Our sincere gratitude goes to the Department of Curriculum Instruction and Educational Media, Group 14 Coordinator Dr. Margaret Kimwarei, Mo University Studio Technicians, our listeners, and Mo University Fraternity at Large. I have been your producer, Gideon Mutie. Thank you and God bless you. <laughs>